Next, short answer question. So, in this type of questions, we have to write the steps. So, the question number, first question number 13. Yes, what is the question? Estimate the sum of the following. Find the estimates. Sir. Hmm? The questions are the numbers are 354 plus that. 236. Hmm? 2 mark or 3 mark question. So we have to write the steps. So how we write? Yes, first rounding of. Yes, rounding of. You have to find the estimates. Sir. So rounding of, which is the first number, 354. Yes, 354 to the nearest. Which number 10 to the nearest 10 is equal to hmm, rounding of 354 to the nearest 10. So, what is the answer? Yes, 0 in the ones place. Uh, next, we check the ones place to check in the question. Which uh, 4, that is less than 5. So, we write same number in the same digit in the what space means? Which digit is given in the question? Same digit in the answer also. And no change in the 100 place. 100 place will be the same. Three. So, 354 round off to the nearest 10 means 350. It's very simple. 354. No, it is lies between 350 and 360. But it is closest to, closer to which number? Which multiple of 10? Yes, 350. Next, same way that is same statement that is rounding of yes which number the second number 236 to the nearest yes which number 10 is equal to 0 in the ones place uh, yes we studied rounding the number nearest 10 the buttons the ones place which it is always 0 next we check the ones which it in the question that is 6 6 is greater than 5. So, we add 1 to the 10 space. So, 3 plus 1, 4. And write same digit in the 100 place. So, rounding of the number nearest 10, then no change the number. Any no change in the 100 place, 1000 place, extra. Only the change happens only in the 1s and 10 space. And 1s place digit is always 0. Okay. So, 236 round nearest to 10 means 240. Next step, yes, therefore the estimated sum, hmm? therefore estimated sum, estimated sum is equal to just add 350 plus 240. What is, yes, once you start from the one place, 0 plus 0, 0, 4 plus 5, yes, 4 plus 5, 9, then 3 plus 2, 5. 590. So, the estimated sum of 354 plus 236 is equal to 590. So, this way we have to write in the uh, workbook. Means 2 mark or 3 mark question. We use this step. step. Fill in the blanks that like question. Only write answers only. But 2 mark or 3 mark questions you have to write the steps. So, this is the step Next, estimate the sum of the following. Same type of question, question number 14. Estimate the sum of the following. 565 and 312. Question number 15. Estimate the following. Two question A and B. Question number 16. Estimate the following. Yes. 16. Uh, two question A and B. So, question number 14. Yes. Question number 14 to part 16 also. Homework. Do it yourself. In the workbook. Space is given now. Yes. In this space you can write this like step. Okay. And first round of number. A uh, rounding of the first number nearest to 10. That round. Round of the number. Next day rounding of the second number. Therefore the estimated sum. That only very simple. Hmm? Yes. That's we already learned how to round off the number nearest 10. Yes. So first number round of nearest to 10. Second number round of the nearest to 10. Therefore the estimated sum. Okay, and if any uh, anyone have any doubt in this type of question, we can clear that in the live class. Okay, next question number 17, short answer question, more problem like question, sir. 
what is question number 17 sonu has 46 roses and mona has 22 roses estimate the total number of roses that they have means that the total number of means we have to find the sum here we want to find the estimate sum so how we write the statement here sona has 46 roses and mona has 22 roses here we want to find estimate the sum of two, estimate the sum of 46 and 22 so the first step same here question number 17 rounding of yes rounding of which number 46 to the nearest rounding of 46 to the nearest ten is equal to rounding of 46 to the nearest 10 that right uh, yes zero in the ones place and here in the question 46 is 6 is greater than 5 so we add 1 to this 4 so 50 Mm. Rounding of 46 to the nearest 10 is 50. Next, rounding of next number means Mona has some roses. Rounding of yes, Mona has some roses. Yes, 22. 22 to the nearest 10. Mm. Why we write here 10? Because we round off the number nearest to 10. Estimate 22. 22 nearest. Round of number is 20. And therefore, the estimated, uh, the be simple, therefore, the estimated, yes, the estimated number of roses, uh, the estimated number of roses is equal to just 50 plus 20, that is equal to 70. So, this way we can write the statement. Okay, see, round of the first number, second round of the second number, therefore the estimated number of roses. Clear? Simple question. Say, question number 80. Hmm? What? Rakesh has 57 pencil and Mukesh has 43 pencils. Estimate the total number of pencil that they have. Here also, what? Want to find the estimated sum of which two number? 57 and 43. So, how we write the first step? Yes, round of 57 to the nearest 10 is equal to. Next, round of which number? 43 to the nearest 10. And we get one answer now. Therefore, the estimated number of pencil they have all together is equal to just add 40 uh, 60 plus 40 is equal to 100 okay the estimates of the 2 is equal to 100 so 100 is the answer okay so question number 70 18 this type of word problem you can write this statement this way hmm? round of the number round of the second number then add that two number therefore the estimate sum is equal to clear question number 19 same type of question Find the estimate sum. What is the question? Sunny want to distribute cupcakes in his class. There are 48 boys and 54 girls. Estimate the number of cupcakes that Sunny should take to the class. Sunny want to distribute the cake. In his class, total 48 boys and 54 girls. So, we want to estimate, estimate that number of girls and number of boys. Hmm? Estimate the number of cupcakes that Sunny should take to the class. So, how, how we write the statement? Yes, round of, round of 48 to the nearest 10. Hmm? Round of 48 to the nearest 10 is equal to. Then, round of Yes, 54 to the nearest 10 is equal to. Mm? Then the sum. Mm? Therefore, the estimated sum is equal to. Okay, then after we can write, therefore, Sunny should take about 100 cupcakes to the class. Mm? About 100 cupcakes to the class means that is the estimated sum. It is very simple, no. Just round off the number nearest to 10, then add it. Okay, question number 20. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी गुशी बॉर टू पिज्जा फोर रुपीज एटी सिक्स एंड टानिश बोर्ड वन पिज्जा फोर रुपीज फोर्टी थ्री एस्टिमेट द टोटल अमाउंट टू बी पेड फॉर द पिज्जा सेम टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन यूज द सेम स्टेटमेंट राउंड ऑफ द नंबर नियरेस्ट राउंड ऑफ एटी सिक्स रुपीज हियर वी रुपीज सो जस्ट पुट द सेम बैक राउंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी राउंड ऑफ राउंड ऑफ Yes, rounding off. Yes, is the same by rupees eighty six. Hmm. To the nearest to ten is equal to. Next rounding off rupees forty three. Nearest to ten is equal to. Therefore, the estimated sum hmm, must be used the same by rupees. Hmm. Because symbol is which is symbol. And if any symbol is given in the question, that we want to write the answer also. Okay. Therefore, they have to pay around rupees. Ah, uh, what is the estimate sum for the pizza? Okay, simple question. We can easily do. Hmm? You know how to. Ah, uh, we study how to round off the number. Yes, are we round off the number nearest ten? Yes, the ones place which it is always zero. Yes, then check the ones digit in the question. If the ones digit is less than five, means either one, two, three, or five. One, two, three, or four. We write same number in the tens place. And if the one digit is five or greater than five, we add one to the one place. Okay, and any hundred place, thousand place, just no, no change. We write the same digit in the answer column. Okay, that way we can round off the number nearest. And one more question, number twenty-one. Let's try to do your homework. Try to do. Try to solve that question. Twenty-one. What is Priya collected four hundred and fifty-six stamps and Riya collected two hundred and eighty-nine stamps. Estimate the total number of stamps that they have. So, have we write the statement? Yes. Number of. I'm uh, sorry. Rounding of which number? Four hundred and fifty-six. Mm, so, it's a four hundred and fifty-six. So, have we round off the number three digit? Mm, so, uh, yes. Four hundred and fifty zero. Ah, always zero in rounding. Three digit, four digit, any number. Rounding of nearest ten means zero in the ones place. Next, check the ones place digit in the question. It is greater than five, so we add one to this tens place. That is five plus one six, and write the same number in the hundred place. So four hundred and fifty six round of nearest to ten means four hundred and sixty. Next, two hundred and eighty nine. Yes, are we round off the number? Yes, zero. Then nine. Nine is greater than five, so we add one to this eight. Nine and write the same number in the hundred place. Then just add these two number. We get the estimate sum of that. Estimate sum of that to uh, a total number of stamps. Estimated number of stamps that they have. Okay, so question number twenty one also you have to do. Mm, that space is given in the workbook. No, do in the workbook. No need to write that in the notebook. This all questions you have to write in the workbook. Clear? So we finished all the questions that is given in the workbook. Now the practice workbook. Which are the questions I want to write in the practice book? Then we have discussed so many questions. Ah, uh, that's we want to write in the workbook itself. So no need to write that question in the practice book. Hmm? So which questions we want to write here? Here is one question. Hmm? This question that is the first book question. Sona has fifty six red roses. Sona has thirty two yellow roses. Estimate the total number of roses they have. Hmm? These questions you have to write in the practice book. Hmm? Workbook questions write in the workbook itself. No need to write that in the practice book. So, which questions we want to write in the practice book? This question. This question we have to write in the practice book. So, how we solve this? Sunil has fifty-six red roses. So, rounding of fifty-six to the nearest ten. What is zero in the ones place? And here, the ones digit is six. More than five, so we add one to the five. So, sixty. Rounding of. Fifty-six to the nearest ten is sixty. Then Sona has thirty-two yellow roses. So rounding of thirty to the nearest ten. Hmm? 
So, 32. 0 here and yes. 2. Less than 5. So, we write the same number. 30. Huh? Rounding of 30 to the nearest end is 30. Therefore, the estimated sum is 60 plus 30 is equal to 90. So, estimated number of roses is equal to 90. So, these questions you can write in the practice book. Clear? So, this question you have to write in the practice book. Hmm? Write neatly and submit in the Google Classroom. Okay, so workbook question over. Then, practice work. Uh, which questions you want to write in the practice book? Yes, one question I give it there. No, write that question in the practice workbook and submit. Now, question of this video. Hmm? Question of this video, that is page number 29 in your workbook. Hmm? Page number 29. Page number 29 in workbook. Page number 29 in the workbook. Question number. Question number 1 to 6. Question number 1 to 6. This question. Question number 1 to 6. Yes, very simple. Choose the missing numbers. Options are now put in the correct symbol. 24 plus 42 is equal to dash. Uh, once digit is given, times place number is missing. So, write the correct answer. 800 plus 20. What? Symbol 820. What is the sum of 200 and 300? Means sum of 200 means, well, just add is 200 plus 300 means, what is the answer? Yes, 500. Next to 4, the value of 37 rounded off to the nearest 10. 37. Uh, 37, question number 4. 37 is rounded to the nearest. Which number? Yes, 40. Yes, once digit is 0, no? And here the 7, that is greater than 5. So, we add 1 to the times. So, 3 plus 1, 4. So, 40. 37 rounded nearest to 40. Question number 5. The value of 82 rounded off to the nearest. Options are given. 90, 85, 80. Uh, tick the correct option or write the write A or B C or A B C or A B C or D in the bracket. Question number six: the value of 165 rounded off to the nearest. So this course is question. Question number one to six is the question of this video. Okay, so do in the verb take a clear picture and where we upload this, where we submit, yes, in the first assignment, answer the question asked in the video that you have to submit this question. Okay, don't be confused with three assignment. In the first assignment, answer the question asked in the video that you have to submit this question. Do in the verb in the given now. Just tick the or write the answer in the bracket. Okay, then submit in the first assignment. Answer the question asked in the video. Okay, in the second assignment, that is the submission of practice book. In submission of practice book, one question I given, that is uh, Sunil has uh, 56 red roses, Sona has 32 yellow, yellow roses, estimate the total number of roses they have with solution. So, write that question in the practice book and submit. No need to write the workbook questions in the practice book. Okay. So, in the second assignment, submission of practice book, you have to write that question. Clear? Hmm? Practice work. That I give no one word practice work. That question you have to write in the practice book. And so many homeworks I given in the practice, uh, sorry, workbook. So many homework in the first year uh, addition. Uh, uh, some given, some homeworks given. Uh, word problems of addition, one homework given. Estimate the sum, one homework given. And a word problem, one homework given. Find the estimated sum of two numbers, some homeworks are there. So do that all homeworks in the word book and submit in the sec third assignment. That is, Notes and homework, submission of notes and homework that given no one third assignment. So you have to submit in that assignment. 
Don't be confused. What do we want to submit in the first assignment? Yes, this question you have to submit in the first assignment. Answer the question asked in the video. Second assignment is yes, practice work. That is one question I given. No practice work. That you write neatly in the practice work and submit. Third one is your homeworks. Hmm? That's some homeworks I given in the workbook. Do that in the proper places and submit. Don't copy that in the notebook. Do it in the workbook itself and submit. Okay. So, we finish this chapter 4. Addition means all the test book activities over. Workbook activities over. Okay. Now, for the same things we can explain in the live class also. Okay. So, children, study well. Hmm? Daily you have to practice what? Yes, multiplication table two or three times you have to practice the multiplication table. Okay, thank you.